up a final surge. It's going to be very close. Here's the wire. This is unbelievable. Just a fight. He's unstoppable. They're all in line. And they're off. Demons be gone. Away quickly from between horses. Now there goes Leo Castelli on the inside, though Capote grabs the early lead past the stands for the first time. From between horses on the line, charging up to get command. Capote along the inside is second, and on the outside, that's Candy's Gold Racing third. In the middle of the track, no more flowers, up fourth. Bet twice is fifth, masterful advocate from between horses sixth. There goes Leo Castelli bullying his way between horses seventh. Masterful advocate, in fact, almost went out. War is in trouble on the inside, around the first turn. Capote leads it by a length. Staple made on the line into second position by two. Candy's gold on the outside, third by a head. Along the inside, that's Leo Castelli with the Cinto Vasquez in the, the irons in fourth position. War regaining on the inside, now fifth. Bet twice is sixth. Masterful advocate is seventh. No more flowers on the outside is racing eight. Templar Hill moving through along the inside ninth. Chocolate one is ten. No more flowers back to 11. After that, it's Ali Sheba, Momentous, Crypto Clearance. Between horses, Gulch is far back. On the outside, Conquista Rose is 16th. And the favorite, Demons Be Gone, is 17th and last. He's pulling up around the far turn. On the inside, it's on the line, but on the outside. There goes Bet Twice. Bet Twice to the front, way ahead with Craig Peretta Board. On the inside, that's on the line with Gary Stevens hanging tough as they turn for home a quarter of a mile to go. Bet Twice taking the lead by one. On the outside, here comes Ali Sheba. On the line, dropping out of it. Middle of the racetrack. Crypto clearance with Jose Santos is flying. Leo Castelli between horses. And down the stretch they come. Bet Twice on the inside, leads it by a head. On the outside, here comes Ali Sheba. Ali Sheba with Chris McGarren to the front. Bet Twice back to second. Here's the finish. Ali Sheba wins it by three parts of a length. They're off and running in the Preakness. Between horses, looking for the big one, gets the early lead. Harry Middle on the inside, coming on, now going head and head for that lead. No more flowers, now racing third. Down along the inside, bet twice in fourth place. Then it's Phantom Jet, Ali Sheep on the outside, coming on, AV's copy, Gulch, and Crypto Clearance is the early trailer. They swing into the clubhouse, turn it's Harriman down along the rail with a slight lead. Moving up in the outside. It's looking for the big one. They're still in a speed duel into the back stretch. Bet twice, two lengths back at the rail. On the outside, no more flowers. Coming on, it's Phantom Jet. Ali Sheep up on the outside with Gulch now making a move. Crypto clearance along the inside coming on. And AV's copy. They're midway down the back stretch. Harriman still has the lead by a neck. Looking for the big one on the outside. Stays right with the leader. The outside bet twice. No more flowers. Crypto clearance has room along the rail. Comes on. Way on the outside. Ali Sheba. Then it's Gulch. They're into the far turn, looking for the big one. Comes on, now takes the lead. But up on the outside, it's bet twice. Coming on to go to the front. On the outside, Gulch coming on, along with Ali Sheba. They race to the top of the stretch. Bet twice showing the way. Ali Sheba up on the outside with Gulch right there. They race through the lane. It's Ali Sheba. Bet twice at the rail. Gulch on the outside. They race down to the eighth pole, and it's Ali Sheba on the outside. Along the inside, bet twice. They race to the 16th pole. Ali Sheba on the outside. Bet twice at the rail. It's Ali Sheba winning the Preakness. All in line. They race down the stretch with Bet Twice extending the lead now to eight lengths. Crypto Clearance is second by about a length. Then Ali Sheba and on the outside is Gulch gone west. They're off. Ali 
Sheba and Lost Code with Born to Shop all going for the lead with Bet Twice on the outside. It's Lost Code who goes to the front. Bet Twice now drives up in the outside a second with Alice Sheba third. Born to Shop is fourth and Clever Secret drops back to last. They race past the stands into the first turn, and Lost Code has the lead by a length. Born to Shop, now Alice Sheba drives between horses second. Bet twice on the outside, takes second, Alice Sheba third. Born to Shop drops back fourth, and Clever Secret trails. They round the turn into the back stretch, and Lost Code opens up two lengths on Bet twice. Alice Sheba along the rail third. Born to Shop is fourth, and Clever Secret continues to trail. Down the back stretch, it's Lost Code by two and a half lengths. Bet twice second, Alice Sheba now moving up along the rail. Lost Code holds a two and a half length lead. Alice Sheba along the rail is second with Bet twice on the outside a third. The others are out of it. They race toward the far turn and Lost Code continues to show the way. Alice Sheba is second, now gaining on the leader with Bet twice right alongside a third. Rounding the far turn, Lost Code still showing the way with Bet Twice on the outside a second, Alice Sheba along the rail third. Rounding the turn, it's still Lost Code, but Bet Twice now drives up in the outside the challenge. Alice Sheba coming through along the rail third, Lost Code still by ahead as they turn for home, but Bet Twice has Lost Code cornered, it's less Lost Code on the inside, Bet Twice on the outside, Bet Twice getting ahead in front, Lost Code still right there with Alice Sheba now closing on the far outside. It's Bet Twice on the outside, Lost Code along the rail with Alice Sheba closing fast. Bet Twice has the lead with Alice Sheba on the outside a second. They're off in Super Derby 8. And quickly to the front, it's Perdition Sun, the supplemental nomination now up on the inside. Here comes Fortunate Moment to put ahead in front. Parochial is close early, and that's Candy's Gold at the rail from the one hole. Mom's Ferrari is next, settling into fifth. Temperate Sill trying to be raided off the pace today, next in sixth. And then it's Ali Sheba alongside him, and Wayne's Crane trailing the field. 23 and one for the opening quarter. That equals the slowest opening quarter in a Super Derby. And Parochial is going to try to steal this one on the outside. Fortunate moment is second. Right there at the rail is Candy's Gold in third. Then it's a gap of two. Mom's Ferrari in fourth. Perdition Sun on the outside in fifth. Temperate Sill, the gray along the rail is next. Ali Sheba and trailing the field, Wayne's Crane. They've got five eighths of a mile to run. And that's parochial by three quarters of a length. But there goes the Stroh's Prelude winner alongside the challenge. Fortunate moment, Candy's Gold right there the rail he's trying to sneak through on the inside of the top two temperate sill just off the leaders in fourth then it's a gap of three lengths and ali sheba is fifth at this point as the pace picks up around the far turn and gary stevens has gotten candy's gold through along the rail to grab the lead from parochial but parochial is still right there now up on the outside here comes ali sheba with a move three wide inching up on the leaders and temperate sill at the rail there the top of the stretch a million dollars on the line it's candy's goal the leader by a length and a half on the outside ali sheba the favorite coming on and inching up with a furlong to go there's ali sheba candy's gold on the inside parochial next in temperate still a beaten fourth ali sheba the horse with the blinkers on has a neck in front inside the final 70 yards ali sheba does it with chris mccarran aboard trained by jack vanberg you know the fans here in Southern California today are rooting for the 56-year-old Hall of Famer with a call. Let's go to Tom Durkin. And uh, they're off. And Ferdinand is out there early toward the inside. Candy's gold is sent. And Judge Angelucci. And they pass us for the first time. And it is Judge Angelucci now who's out to take the lead. But Candy's gold is sticking right with them early. Cory Black trying to nurse that speed with him on the inside. Skywalker is up close early. He's a Sorrows four wide. A fleet is three wide. And toward the inside, it's good command. A gap of four. And Ferdinand has settled into seventh position. And Gulch is alongside him. Ali Sheba is now running in eighth. He's about 
nine lengths off the lead as they head for the back stretch. Bold arrangement trying to take hold of this track. Crypto clearance has one horse beaten, and that is Nostalgia Star, who is content to trail at this time as they move off the back stretch. Judge Angelucci and Candy's Gold moving together on the lead. The opening quarter went to 23 flat, 46 and two for the half. Those two are still going at it. Good command kept close to them toward the inside. He's a Charles running third, and Ferdinand now has asked for more run. He'll need racing room, though. He's on the inside fifth. Skywalker is alongside him. And now, Ali Sheba begins to roll from the back of the pack, and the fleet has dropped back. There's a half mile to run in this Breeders' Cup Classic, and it is Candy's goal toward the inside. Judge Angelucci and Ferdinand to pick him up now on the outside third. Good command is putting in his run toward the rail. Skywalker is still in it. He's only three lengths off the lead. And Ali Sheba continues to pick him up on the outside with a dramatic run toward the leaders. They are at the corner pole here at Hollywood Park. And it is Judge Angelucci on the outside. Kenny's going toward the rail. Ferdinand and Ali Sheba coming on from the outside. Good command is in behind horses. They're less than a four on out. Judge Angelucci desperate. Ferdinand right there. Ali Sheba on the outside. Ferdinand. Up. Fields sent on their way in the 88 big cap. They all came away to a beautiful beginning. Judge Angelucci goes to the lead. Alice Sheba second. Super Diamond on his inside and Ferdinand up on the outside of them. They come down to the wire for the first time as expected. Judge Angelucci out there on the lead. Super Diamond, three parts of the length back, scraping paint down at the rail. Chris McCarran as Ali Sheba striding smartly right there, third. Only two lengths off them today, Ali Sheba. And then it's another two back to Ferdinand, content to trail early. They go to these three quarter poles. Super Diamond, Lafitte Pink Eyes going through at the rail to pick up the running. Super Diamond kicks on with it, but Judge Angelucci goes with him. The pace quickens noticeably as those two hook up on the lead. Then it's another three and a half back to Alice Sheba. Two behind that comes Ferdinand. Bill Shoemaker not wanting to get left out of it. He's starting to push a little at Ferdinand. They head now to the half mile pole. Judge Angelucci on the outside and Super Diamond at the rail, nose and nose, and they now clearing off up front to lead by five. Chris McCarran now gives a loose rein to Ali Sheba and asks him to go after them. Ferdinand and Bill Shoemaker moving up on the outside. Now they take close order as they pass the 3 8 pole. Ali Sheba's been asked and he's responding. Ali Sheba takes the lead, but Bill Shoemaker and Ferdinand immediately up to take them on on the outside. Ali Sheba and Chris McCarran pass the quarter pole in front in the big cap. Ferdinand coming after him. Super Diamond and Judge Angelucci now drop back. They come for home. Ali Sheba, Ferdinand on the outside. Judge Angelucci, Super Diamond at the eighth pole. Ferdinand and Ali Sheba. What a race this is. Just what the fans wanted. Ferdinand and Ali Sheba. Ali Sheba's holding on at the rail. Ali Sheba and Chris McCarran win the big cap by about a neck. The flag is up. Fields sent on their way in the San Bernardino. Alice Sheba breaks smartly. So does Ferdinand. Now here comes Good Taste to take up the running on the outside. Foreign Legion goes with him between horses. Nostalgia Star drops back to trail by four. They head to the 7 8 pole, and that's Good Taste out there on the lead. But Chris McCarran not happy with the pace. He takes Alice Sheba off the rail and goes to put some pressure on Good Taste. Ferdinand is right there, just a length behind Alice Sheba as they go to the three-quarter pole. Foreign Legion races fourth and four back to Nostalgia Star. They pass the three-quarter pole and Good Taste getting on with it now out there, leading it a length and three quarters. Alice Sheba going along very comfortably. Chris McCarran just perched up on him with that long rein right there, second. Bill Shoemaker going to go up and try and keep him in there, though. There's Ferdinand going up to put pressure on them now. 
fall behind that foreign legion and nostalgia star. They pass the half mile pole. Alice Sheba still doing it so easily right there between horses. Chris McCarran still sitting on him, but he's going quickly now. Ferdinand's going to go up and take him on, though. And here's the match race we've been waiting for. Alice Sheba at the rail. Ferdinand alongside, 127 pounds each, and they're going to go nose and nose for the wire. A length and a half back, good taste is trying to hang tough in third. Heads a turn for home. Ferdinand on the outside, and Alice Sheba, neither rider's asked for a full effort yet. Ferdinand on the outside, puts his head in front. Alice Sheba trying to come back and in good taste, running a huge race on the outside. But it's Ferdinand and Alice Sheba, nose and nose for the wire. Good taste coming on on the Well, here's the official photo finish. Chris McCarran and Alice Sheba on the inside, barely separating themselves from Ferdinand. They're off. All coming away to a good start. Bet twice along the rail with Gulch and Slew City Slew, all racing for the lead with Back Bay Banquet on the outside of fourth. Alice Sheba drops into fifth and Bolshoi Boy trails. They race past the stands into the first turn, and Slough City Slough has gone to the lead by two lengths. Gulch on the outside a second. Bet twice hugs the rail in third with Back Bay Banquet fourth. Alice Sheba is now fifth, and a Bolshoi boy trailing. They round the turn into the back stretch. Slough City Slough trying to steal it, opening up a length and a half on Bet twice with Gulch alongside. A gap of four lengths to Back Bay Banquet, and it's five lengths further back to Alice Sheba and Bolshoi Boy Trails. Down the back stretch, Slough City Slough holds the lead by a length with Bet Twice along the rail second, Gulch alongside a third. Back Bay Banquet is fourth, Alice Sheba now beginning to move up fifth, and Bolshoi Boy. They race toward the far turn, and Slough City Slough holds the lead by a length and a half, Bet Twice second, Gulch on the outside now driving up. Alice Sheba now making a bold move into fourth. Then it's Back Bay Banquet and Bolshoi Boy. They round the far turn with Slough City Slough in front. Bet twice now driving up the challenge, and it's Bet twice on the outside going by to get the lead. A quarter of a mile to come, and Bet twice has the lead with Slough City Slough second. Gulch on the outside a third. Alice Sheba on the far outside fourth. They turn for home, and it's Bet twice by two and a half lengths, but here comes Alice Sheba. Bet twice has the lead. Alice Sheba now closing in on the outside. It's Bet twice along the rail. Alice Sheba on the outside. Alice Sheba now getting the lead. Alice Sheba wins the Islam handicap. Bet twice second. They're all nine. They're all. And 49er has gone for the lead. It's. Ali Sheba on the outside, moving into second alongside is Wakwait. Wakwait now gets the lead by a half. Goes clear by a full length. 49er on the rail, second by a half. On the outside, Ali Sheba's third by a length. And uh, Roy Normand, the personal flag, telling them crypto clearance. And Brian's time is it. The field now approaches the backstretch. The first quarter in 24 and 1. Wakwait has the lead by about two. 49er second by a neck on the outside. Ali Sheba right alongside in third by a length and a half. Then Talinum, Roy Normand, about three to personal flag. Then Crypto Clearance and Brian's time. Down the backstretch. Wakwait has the lead still by a half. 49er second by a neck on the outside is Ali Sheba in third. A length and a half to Talinum and Roy Normand, about four to personal flag. Four to Crypto Clearance and Brian's time. The half and 47 and three. They continue down the backstretch. Wakwait on the rail gets clear now by a full length and 49 are second by a length and a half. Ali Sheba has dropped back. The field now enters the far turn. Wakwait still leads by a length and a half. 49 are second by a length and Ali Sheba on the outside. Talinum. Talinum has made a move as has Ali Sheba. Ali Sheba on the outside now moves into second alongside 49er. Talinum joins those two. They around the far turn. Wakwait still has the lead, but there goes 49er on the outside. Talinum between those two is Ali Sheba in fourth. They approach the top of the stretch. Three quarters, 11 and one. 
Tali Namali Shiba 49er will quite remain across the track, and they're followed by Roy Normand, then Crypto Clearance and uh, Brian's Time. They're in the stretch. It's Wakwait on the rail. On the outside of Wakwait is 49er. Farther out is Ali Shiba. Then Tali Nam, here comes personal flag on the far, far outside. Behind the leaders is Roy Normand. They pass the eighth pole. 49er gets ahead in front on the outside is Ali Shiba. Wakwait remains in third on the rail. Ali Shiba now gets the lead. 49er is second, then Wakwait. It's Ali Shiba in front. They're all in line. We're ready for the start. And uh, they're off. And from between horses, Ali Sheba. There goes Slu City Slu. And on the extreme outside, Bet Twice. Now Slu City Slu with Lafitte Pinkai Jr. taking command by two lengths. Bet Twice on the outside is in the second spot. Ali Sheba tucked in at the rail is racing third. Then comes Pleasant Virginian fourth, and Crypto Clearance is the trailer. The quintet moves past the stands for the first time. And on the front end, Slu City Slu has the lead and skims the rail by three. Bet twice a bit wide on the first turn. Craig Perrett keeping him in the second spot, and then two lengths farther back, it's Ali Sheba, who holds third by two lengths. Pleasant Virginian is fourth, and it's four lengths back to the trailer, Crypto Clearance. The quarter in 23 and the half in 46 and 1, and quite spread out. The field moves down the back stretch, and Slu, City Slu, has the lead by five lengths. Bet Twice is second by four, and Ali Sheba is third at this point. Then a gap of three back to Pleasant Virginian, and far back the trailer is Crypto Clearance. Three quarters in 109 and 2 as they go to the far turn. It's still the front runner, Slu, City Slu. In command by three lengths. Bet twice is second, but Ali Sheba is in gear now and on the outside, inching up a closer third. Pleasant Virginian is fourth and far back Crypto Clearance. Now as they move to the top of the stretch, Slu, City Slu with a quarter of a mile to go, has the lead as he has from the start. Ali Sheba on the outside is gaining ground in second. Bet twice is now third. Along the inside, Pleasant Virginian fourth. The battle on the front end. Slu, City Slu at the rail and Ali Sheba on the outside. And down the stretch they come. Ali Sheba puts a head in front. Chris McCarron aboard. Ali Sheba has the lead by a neck. Slew City, Slew second. Here's the finish of the Meadowlands Cup. Ali Sheba by half a length. And the time, sensational. One minute. Now time for the jewel in the crown, the $3 million Breeders' Cup Classic. And they're off. Slew City, Slew breaks alertly, and 49er is moving right with him. Wap Quite is out for the early lead now. And Cutlass Reality on the outside. Ali Sheba's come out fifth. And as they pass beneath the twin spires for the first time, it's the gray New Englander, Wap Quite with a short lead. Slu City Slu is running right with them early. They're moving at a lively pace now. They've opened up five links on Cutlass Reality third. Ali Sheba is off the rail racing fourth. Then far the back, 49er has been taken back in fifth position. And the two fifths color bearers are running together, seeking the gold in personal flags and a gap of four lengths back to Crypto Clearance, who's allowed to settle in an early gallop. And lively one trails the classic field as they make their way into the back stretch. Wah, quite pressed all the way by Slu City Slu. Those two continue as a speed duel continues on down the back stretch. Cutlass Reality is five lengths off them in third. It's another four to Ali Sheba now, who is eight lengths off the lead. And just to his inside, 49er now. Julie Crone asking him for run a half mile out. And now the field moving for the far turn. It is Quite now beginning to shake loose from Slu City Slu. Cutlass Reality is moving in closer third. Ali Sheba begins the roll now. He's making his move as they round the far turn. And then personal flag and seeking the gold are both moving together now as they come to the top of the stretch. Crypto Clarence is kicking in now and he's moving into contention. He's just five lengths off the lead. Then it's lively one. 49er is now the trailer as the field comes to the top of the stretch. It is Cutlass Reality and Walk Point. Ali Sheba set down for the drive. Personal flag is moving through an opening toward the rail. Seeking the goal on the outside. They're coming to the final furlong. Walk Point is tenacious. Ali Sheba is right there. And on the outside, seeking the goal. Ali Sheba with the short lead. He's unyielding. Seeking the goal. A final move. Greatest 
first victory, and he does it here again at Churchill Downs. Ali Sheba wins the world's richest horse race, and he's now the world's richest horse.